हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अक्षिता यू एजुकेटर आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ स्पर्धा परीक्षा बाय ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन एज वी नो फ्रेंड्स ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म हैज लॉन्च अ कंप्लीट सीरीज फॉर अपकमिंग सीटेड एग्जामिनेशन व्हिच विल बी हेल्ड इन डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज वी वर डीलिंग विथ मैथमेटिक्स पेपर वन इन रीजनिंग पोर्शन वी हैव डिस्कस द टॉपिक कॉल्ड सीरीज नेक्स्टली वी मूव टू द टॉपिक pattern and in today's lecture number 16 we will discuss the topic called as clock before moving into the video friends let me tell you the central teacher eligibility test 2022 examination which will be held in december 2022 for this complete course has been launched for paper 1 and paper 2 which consist of the following features in this full syllabus theory lectures will be provided practice multiple mcqs will be taken place mock test will be provided at the same time full syllabus notes in the form of pdf will be provided to you and the course fees will be just of 2000 rupees you have to go and download the global online app or contact us on this given whatsapp number for enrolling the course if you want to score maximum marks in the examination at the same time you want the guaranteed selection in the examination then this course is going to be very beneficial for you because you can completely rely on us on our sources on our study material for scoring maximum marks in the examination so this is got this platform that is global online will be one stop solution for your seated examination preparation so nextly for the paper 2 the complete course that has been launched again consists of the uh, following features that is full syllabus theory lectures practice multiple mcqs mock test full syllabus notes again in the form of pdf and the course fees is just of 2000 rupees again similarly you have to go and download the global online app or contact us on this whatsapp number for the students who are going to opt for the paper 1 and paper 2 for seated 2022 in this again full syllabus theory lectures practice multiple mcqs mock test full syllabus notes in form of pdf and the course will be fees will be just of 3000 rupees if you are going for paper 1 the fees is of 2000 rupees for paper 2 fees is again of 2000 rupees and compiled for paper 1 and paper 2 preparation the fees is just of 3000 rupees so this is an golden opportunity for you guys that you can score maximum marks in the examination as well as have the guaranteed selection so before uh, moving into the video again i would like to tell uh, tell the final uh, steps that you have to follow for enrolling the course go and download the global online app from the play store here here you will find such kind of interface okay here you have to click on the store icon then you will move to the page called as courses here there is a search tab where you have to search for the courses now global online is a platform there are different kind categories of courses here they have provided to you like you have different entrance examination preparation like for pet for set as well as for the net and also for the neat students who are going to appear for 11th and 12th examination okay for for them filter courses for live courses test series recorded courses and different courses have been provided on this single platform here when you type the seated in the search tab, app you will get different courses from the seated that has been launched here for paper 2 paper 1 and the paper 1 and paper 2 compiled course along with the fees will be displayed here so in today's lecture friends will be discussing about the clock topic let us discuss some of the basic things regarding the clocks now what are the parts of the clocks okay in clock we find the face of the clock and the hands of the clock basically what is the face the visible portion of this clock is nothing but the face of the clock this is what this is what this is called the face of the clock now basically what are the hands of the clock in hands we find there are three basic hands of the clock that is second hand minute hand and hour hand okay now what is second hand what is minute hand what and what is hour hand basically hour hand represents or denotes the hour it denotes the hour and minute hand is something that is constantly showing the minute hand, minutes okay this is the minute hand for example and the second hand is something that is moving or having a circular motion constantly okay it is having the circular motion constantly it is nothing but the second hand minute hand is something showing the minutes and hour hand represents or denotes the hour now what we have to see regarding the clock before moving into the portions or the facts regarding the clocks that we have to remember that is the angle of the clock or minute hand is making how many angle or hour hand is making how many hour because this kind of questions are asked in the examination before moving into that fact we must be able to know that the circumference of watch circumference circumference it means that the 
outer portion the circumference of the clock right we call the circumference of circle so basically clock over here is a circular in shape so we will take the circumference of the clock so here circumference of the clock what we can denote is it is 360 degree it is making one complete circle right circumference of the clock is making here in this particular clock it is making 360 degree as we know there are different shapes of the clock also but basically we have to consider the inner portion inner part of the clock as the 360 degree making the circumference and the angle of 360 degree now how we have divided the circumference of watch basically this 360 degree the circumference of the watch has been divided into 60 equal parts this has been divided into 60 equal parts so basically if we look carefully we can find that in the watch there are 60 equal parts so basically in between 12 and 1 we find 1 minute 2 minute 3 minute 4 and 5 minutes so basically there are five parts that have been made between 12 and 1 so basically when we see that different division or on the circumference of the circle of this particular clock we find there are 60 equal parts so basically how many lines can be drawn over here they can be drawn 60 60 lines there are 60 equal parts now these 60 equal parts denotes 60 minutes oh so basically these 60 equal parts are denoting the 60 minutes if we go for one part if we go for one individual part over here so one part is denoting one minute so basically if i draw if i look into this particular diagram of the clock what i can find is if this is 12 o'clock this is one o'clock okay here So the distance between these two parts is denoting how much minute it is denoting one minute so basically there are 60 parts it means there are 60 minutes so this was the fact that we have to remember regarding the clock what i have told right up till now what i have told you there are the parts of the clock that is the face of the clock and the hands of the clock the visible portion of the clock is nothing but this is called as the face of the clock and what are the hands what does the hand denote in the hand we find three different hands that is second hand minute hand and upper hand and the circumference of the circle that is equivalent to 360 degree over here that denotes there are 60 equal parts of the clock and 60 equal parts is equivalent to 60 minutes it means that one part is equivalent to how much minute it is equivalent to one minute this was this were the things that you have to remember regarding that of the clock okay now as i told you that there are three different hands of the clock basically we have to uh, see the facts regarding this hand that is second hand minute and our hand okay we have to see the facts one by one the first very first fact is our hand in one hour makes an angle of 30 degree for example this is 12 o'clock and this is one o'clock okay here this is the hour hand okay this is the hour hand for example and we were here if you are finding the minute hand this is the minute hand and under the second hand let us not draw the second hand only we have to focus here on the hour hand now when the hour hand is moving from 12 o'clock it is moving from 12 o'clock to one o'clock one o'clock so basically the hour hand is moving from 12 o'clock to one o'clock here it is crossing how many degrees or it is forming how many degrees over here it is making degree that is 30 degree it is making 30 degrees so basically our hand in one hour how much degree it is making an angle of 30 degrees so basically in one hour in one hour the our hand the our hand is making or a crossing how many degrees it is crossing 30 degrees this is the very much important fact that we have to use in the form of mcqs here again if i ask you the question over here that the time right now is 10 o'clock okay 10 o'clock and after after 12 o'clock that is at 12 o'clock not after 12 o'clock the time right now is 20, 10 o'clock for example at 12 o'clock how many degrees the hour hand has crossed from 10 o'clock so basically now the time is 10 o'clock after 60 degrees after 60 degrees that is 10 to 11 it is making 30 degrees 
and from 11 to 12 it is making again 30 degrees so basically here when the hour hand is moving from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock it is crossing how many degrees it is crossing 60 degrees so this is the fact that you have to remember regarding the hour hand that hour hand in one hour is crossing how many angle it is crossing 30 degree angles and in two hours it will cross 60 degree angles in this way we have to calculate the uh, hours right that is the angles regarding the hours now moving on to the second fact please do screenshot this whatever I, I am writing on the slides because because these are only the notes that I will provide you in this particular topic because okay now as we have seen in this previous fact that our hand in one hour is making 30 degree but the minute hand minute hand it is making 30 degree in 5 minutes itself okay the fact regarding the minute hand that we have to keep in mind is that it is making 30 degrees in 5 minutes itself for example this is the hour hand for example the time right now is 12 o'clock okay the time right now is completely 12 o'clock and the minute hand is on the 2 okay it is showing that the time right now is the time right now is 12.10. Okay. 12.10 is the time right now. If the minute hand is moving from 2 to 3. It is moving from 2 to 3. It means the time will be 12.15. Right. The time will be 12.15. So basically when the minute hand is moving from 12.10 o'clock to 12.15 o'clock. It means that it is crossing the angle of how many degrees it is crossing the angle of. 30 degrees okay so if we go for the fact the minute hand in five minutes is making how much angle it is making the 30 degree angle if the question asked to you over here is for example i give you the question like this now the time is 9 10 for example this is the hour hand and this is the minute hand that the time right now is how much the time is 9 10 okay no much ke 10 minute time is 9 10 if we have to calculate the angle the angle crossed by the minute hand angle crossed or angle made by made by minute hand from 9 10 from 9 10 minutes to 9 20 so basically now the time is 9 9 10 okay now when the time becomes 9 20 it means the minute hand is on 4 right so how much angle does the minute hand has crossed over here in this 10 minutes as we know in 5 minutes it is crossing how much angle it is crossing 30 degrees right it is crossing 30 degrees and in next 5 minutes it will cross again 30 degrees so basically the total angle made by this minute hand will be 60 degree so this is the fact that we have to keep in mind and such kind of questions can be asked that we will discuss in detail in the upcoming uh, time okay so minute hand in five minutes makes an angle of 30 degree and such kind of questions can be asked moving on to the next thing please do screenshot this okay i'll rub it out now in this previous fact as i told you in minute hand is covering five minutes uh, sorry in five minutes it is covering 30 degrees so basically if we calculate the minute hand if we see that the minute hand this is the minute hand for example and these are the parts these are the five equal parts in between both of them that is the difference of five minutes between 12 and 1 right so in this what we can find is if it is crossing if it is crossing 30 degree in five minutes then in one minute it will cross how much degrees this is the thing that we have to keep in mind over here now in one minute it will cross to six degrees okay if particular time is here for example 12 okay 12 o'clock now the time sorry the angle at 12 bach ke one minute okay sorry for example this is 12 o'clock okay and this is 12 1 okay 12 2 12 3 12 4 so basically the time that we have to okay so this is 12 o'clock and this is 12 bach ke 1 minute okay that is 12 12 is crossing how many minute 12 uh, sorry the up 
sorry again the minute hand over here is crossing the minute hand is crossing about how much degrees it is crossing about six degrees okay so basically when one minute one minute occurs it means that the minute hand is crossing six degrees so basically this is the thing that we have to keep in mind okay now nextly what we have seen till now we have seen that the our hand in uh, 15 minutes our hand sorry our hand in one hour is making an angle of 30 degree in one hour it is crossing how many 30 degrees and the minute hand in five minutes is crossing 30 degrees okay basically if five minutes is equivalent to 30 degree then one minute will be equivalent to how much degrees it will be equivalent to six degrees okay now basically for solving the questions these things are very much important that is in one hour there are 60 minutes in 60 minutes it covers 360 degree as we know this in 60, 60 minutes so basically minute a hand minute hand is moving completely from 12 to again 12 it is moving from it is starting from 12 and ending to 12 so basically the minute hand is crossing how much degrees over here 60 degrees as we know in one hour in one hour if we are moving from 12 to 1 o'clock basically here how much degrees we are crossing here we are crossing 60, 30 degrees and in one minute we'll cross 6 degrees and in 5 minutes in 5 minutes we are crossing 30 degrees okay in 5 minutes we are crossing 30 degrees so these were the facts that are very much important regarding now this was the summary of the fact that we have to keep in mind regarding solving the questions okay now nextly what things that we have to keep in mind again some of the facts that i will discuss with you before that screenshot this one okay here look into this facts okay one again once again in each hour minute hand is covering 55 minutes distance more than the hour hand okay now consider that for example we have taken uh, now the time is one hour sorry 10 uh, 10 o'clock now the time when the our hand is moving from 10 to 11 when this our hand this is for example the our hand it is moving from 10 to 11 basically when this our hand is moving from 10 to 11 it means it is one hour right it is covering uh, one hour basically so in one hour in each hour the minute hand is covering 55 minutes distance more than the hour hand basically here minute hand is covering distance of only five minutes right minute sorry our hand is covering the distance of only five minutes now the our hand is at 10 our hand is moving from 10 to 11 so basically our hand has covered distance of how much minute from 10 to 11 it means it has covered distance of only five minutes right but the minute hand in one hour minute hand in one hour will cover how many minutes it is covering 55 minutes basically it is covering 60 minutes right it is covering the minute hand is covering in one hour it is ca carrying 60 minutes right in one hour it, it is covering 60 minutes but the hour hand in one hour is covering only how much minutes we fix see it is covering the distance of it is covering the distance of only distance of only five minutes so basically if we compare these two statements we get this one that in each hour minute hand is covering 55 minutes more distance than that of the hour hand because the minute hand is covering 60 minutes and the hour hand is covering the distance of only five minutes okay so basically it is covering 55 minutes distance less than that of the minute hand okay this is the thing that we have learned over here now the second fact that we will learn over here is the hour hand in one hour covers a distance of five minutes okay as i told you that the hour hand in one hour now the time is 10 o'clock from 10 to 11 if the hour hand is moving it is covering the distance of 30 degrees 30 degrees degrees is equivalent to how many minutes it is equivalent to five minutes so basically whenever one hour occurs it means that one hours agar cover ho gaya, it means that it is covering the distance of how many minutes it is covering the distance of five minutes do not say that it is covering five minutes it is covering the distance of five minutes this is the fact that we have to remember over here okay now nextly now next fact that we have to keep in mind over here is whenever the both the hands are making the angle of 90 degree that is the minute hand and the hour hand they are making the angle of 90 degree then it means that they both lie 15 minutes from each other they both lie 15 minutes from each other difference is of 15 minutes for example if i take the time right now is uh, three o'clock okay this is three this is 12 
okay now the time is what this is the this is what this is called the hour hand and this is the minute hand okay basically now the time what we can find out over here is the time is the time is three o'clock right now we can find that both the angles sorry both the hands are making the angle of 90 degree over here so the angle over here is 90 degree right the angle over here is 90 degree nextly what we can see is that when both the hands are making here 90 degree then both are having the time difference or we can say both are lying 15 minutes away from each other so basically they have the gap of how much minutes they have the gap of 15 minutes over here okay this is this thing that we have to keep in mind when both the hands make the angle of 90 degree when both the hands are making the angle of 90 degree both the hands are making the angle of 90 degree then the difference in between the, the between them is of 15 minutes okay difference in between them is of 15 minutes from each other okay this is the thing that we have to keep in mind also the same thing that we have to keep in mind that the angle made made by hour hand and minute hand is 90 degree in one hour this occurs twice okay hour hand and minute hand making the uh angle of 90 degree such a situation occurs twice in one hour in one hour minute hand and hour hand will make the angle of 90 degree twice now let us take this example itself now the time was three sorry now the time was three right three o'clock now when the time will be 3 38 for example now this is the time now as we know this is 3 o'clock this is 3 o'clock basically when it becomes 328 then this minute hand this minute hand will shift to this side okay somewhere to this side sorry let us consider this side okay this this side and the our hand will shift slightly away from 3 o'clock it will shift slightly away from that of the 3 o'clock right so basically in one hour such condition come twice that both the hands are making 90 degree right so this is the example itself once it will make the angle 90 degree when it is 3 o'clock and once when it is away from some 3 o'clock that is our hand is away uh, something away from that of the 3 o'clock as well as the minute hand is at for example we can say 3 uh, 39 or something okay so the, this is making the angle of 90 degree over here also and over here also so such condition can occur twice okay the next thing that we have to keep in mind is that in one hour this condition is occurring in one hour such condition is occurring twice that minute hand and hour hand that is both hands we can say both hands are making both hands are making 90 degree okay forming the angle of 90 degree so this is the thing that we have to keep in mind okay nextly so basically in today's lecture what we have seen is we have seen regarding the clock that are the different parts of the clock that is the face of the clock and the hands of the clock in face of the clock we have seen that the visible portion is nothing but the face of the clock right and nextly what we have seen is that the hands of the clock there are three hands of the clock that is second hand minute and an hour hand nextly we have seen the circumference the circumference of the circle is equivalent to 360 degree it means that in 360 degree 60 equal parts of the clock have been divided and in 60 equal parts we find the 60 minutes and one part is equivalent to one minute okay nextly what we have seen is that our hand in one hour is going to cover 30 degree okay so in one hour our hand will cover 30 degree and nextly what we have seen is minute hand in five hands makes an angle of 30 degree that is in minute hand if we consider uh, five minutes have been occurred it means it is covering how many 30 degrees it is covering okay this we have seen in each hour we have seen at the same time that the minute hand covers 55 minutes distance more than that of the hour hand and hour hand in one hour is covering the distance of five minutes okay so nextly thing that we have to keep in mind that when both hands make the angle of 90 degree then li they lie 15 minutes away from each other this is the one fact that we have to keep in mind so in uh, today's lecture we have just seen the facts regarding the clock and in next lecture we will discuss all the questions that can be asked in the clock while a portion regarding the reasoning portion okay at the same time i would like to tell you that uh, in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss some of the PYQs we will discuss at the same time uh, the questions uh, like 
that can be asked in our examination okay regarding the clock we'll cover all the categories of the question at this uh, questions at the same time the central teacher eligibility test i would like to tell you the complete course once again for the paper one and paper two in this full syllabus theory lectures will be provided practice multiple mcqs mock test full syllabus notes and the course fees will be just of 2000 rupees you just have to go and download the global online app or contact us on this given whatsapp number for enrolling the course the course fees for the paper one will be of 2000 rupees for paper two again of 2000 rupees and paper one and paper two is again of three thousand rupees the steps that you have to follow as i have mentioned in the uh, starting of this lecture at the same time if you have any kind of doubt you can mention in the comment section as well as if there are any kind of suggestion then also you can comment in the comment section if you like my video if you like my content please do like my uh, uh, video as well as subscribe my channel at the same time you can comment regarding any doubts regarding any topics okay you can directly comment in the comment section i'm ready to resolve all your doubts over here okay this was end of today's lecture thank you for watching and stay tuned for more such questions and videos and next lecture thank you for watching have a great day bye